A thick, slimy mass is inundating Istanbul's seashores. City beaches, which should be packed with the easing of COVID restrictions, remain empty. Dubbed sea snot, the algae blooming in the Marmara Sea is causing shock and anger among the city's inhabitants. Some blame politicians. To enter the sea is to commit suicide. Unfortunately, we murdered the Marmara Sea. The governments did this. I was born and raised in Istanbul 76 years, and this is the first time we let the polluted rivers and the sewage ruin the sea. Turkey has witnessed its naturally occurring mirsilage before, but never on this scale. Scientists blame rising sea temperatures and nitrate-rich pollution for fueling the algae growth that causes the slime. Oceanographer Professor Jamal Saidam devoted 20 years to studying the Marmara Sea. Maybe it's the first time among the Turkish scientists that the cause of this thing is uh, unanimously decided. It's the man-made uh, effect. When I say man-made, it's all population, industry, agriculture, so all those activities somehow ends up in the Med Sea of Marmara. The government is desperately trying to clear up the so-called sea snot in the face of growing criticism over Marmara Sea pollution levels. The mountainous task cannot come soon enough for Istanbul's fishermen, who now spend much of their time onshore, counting the cost. As fishermen, we have started suffering from this terribly. Now many fishermen cannot take bread home because of this. It is bad both for line fishing and net fishing. The net fishing is impossible because they can't throw and lift the net through the snot. While fishing with lines, the line gets caught in the sea snot. If we used to make 10 lira, now we make two. It affected all of us so badly. But with sea temperatures rising at the onset of summer, further fueling the sea algae growth, fears are growing the sea snot will spread to Turkey's tourist resort in the neighbouring Aegean Sea. Turkey is now in a race against time in its battle against the sea of slime. Dorian Jones of VOA News, Istanbul.